Hello and welcome to Whiskey with Rye. I'm Rye. Whiskey I'm with today is Elijah Craig. On every episode of Whiskey with Rye, we'll talk about the distillery, the mash bill, and the nose and taste three different ways of the whiskey. Straight, on the rocks, and with water. So Elijah Craig is a Heaven Hill uh, product uh, who has a large umbrella, uh, as well as does a lot of sourcing, uh, which is where they uh, make, distill, make aged whiskey for other places, and then ship the barrels to that place and they bottle it and sell it under their label. Um, so they're provided with the mash bill, they're, they're asked to follow, they make it, and then they uh, age it and sell it. Uh, to the people who want to bottle it and then resell it again. Um, so again, Elijah Craig, uh, small batch. Uh, it's really affordable, really consistent, good bottle. Uh, this is actually a store pick from uh, my favorite liquor store, Tippins, that I like to drive to uh, when I had the opportunity. Uh, and so this one is what they called uh, Fry Pickles. It is 10 years old uh, because they thought that this would go best with Fry Pickles, which are delicious. Uh, it is a 78 corn, 10 rye, and 12% barley recipe, uh, which is unique in my opinion because the barley has a higher content than the rye. Normally you would find that switched uh, between the two. So, um, yeah, so again, there are a lot of labels under this, and we'll cover some more uh, as we go through with Whiskey with Rye. Um, but for now, let's jump into the t nose and taste, shall we? So as always, using the Glencairn glass. Go for our straight in water. And then a little bit for the rock spore. Uh, now at one, at some point we will uh, talk about whiskey drinking accessories, like the Glencairn's uh, clear ice versus regular ice. Um, cocktails, maybe that kind of stuff at some point, people are interested in it, in it. So if you are, please make sure you leave a comment. Also make sure you like and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot too. And then that way you can know, uh, every Wednesday at noon, uh, Eastern time when the new whiskey with rye goes up. So first let's jump into the nose, uh, on the straight or neat pour. The first impressions, caramel, uh, a hint of apple in the background, or citrus. It might be more citrus this time, like uh, orange, orange zest. Not like orange juice, but orange zest in, in the background there. Very approachable. Not overly complicated, but it's not one note. There, there is stuff going on. And that caramel kind of turns into a butterscotch, and then at the very end you have a, a pinch of, of oak. Maybe a little bit of like uh, salted peanuts in the shell. Like uh, that smell you get when you crack the shell open. Watering on almost peanut butter. All right, let's jump in. You do get a lot of that wood spice. Not quite cinnamon or baking spice, but more sharp um, sharpness from the wood. Again, this is 10 years old, so it is uh, older than a lot of uh whiskeys and bourbons that are out there especially at the price point uh that elijah craig is at so now going back to it i get a lot more warmth at the beginning of baking spice like cinnamon and nutmeg um that those kind of spices almost like a, a pie filling um probably close to an apple pie filling uh, like a canned apple pie filling that you buy and then 
<coughs> excuse me, um, that goes down a little bit and then the sweetness picks back up just like straight sweetness, almost like white sugar or brown sugar. And then that mellows out and the, um, the wood note carries through uh, to the end. Let's see what one more sip does. Yeah, it's it's pretty consistent. The first notes are kind of baking spice, tones down to a little bit of sweetness, and then back down and wood on the finish. So now uh, we are going to do our uh, water, add our water and um, our rock. So, as always, now because we have so little, we're only going to add like a drop or two. Plenty. And as always, handy dandy Yeti. And as always, offer a couple to the dog. The law goes with me this time. Didn't want to take it. They're on his bed. He'll eat them here shortly. Apologies if you hear him. Yeah, he's in there now. So, jumping back into water. That butterscotch and apple is, or is orange, is pretty much gone. It's really mellowed out into a, a vanilla caramel note. The wood doesn't punch through. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a nice, sweet nose. And for the taste? The wood shows up on the front, kind of carries through on that first sip, and hits you in the back of the throat. And then on the second sip, pepper really shows up from the rye, kind of that herbal notes that you tend to get from rye, which is a little surprising with how little rye there is in this. Excuse me, sorry. And that... That one was more butterscotch, I would say. Very faint hint of butterscotch. Not as complicated as neat, which isn't too surprising. Opens up the wood a lot more and allows the rye to kind of show and uh, shine through everything else. Now, for our rock sport, it's always it's in there. Yeah, that really doubled down on the water pulling out the sweetness, the, the caramel and vanilla sweetness. Like warm vanilla caramel, almost like a caramel sauce. Yeah, that it's nice on the nose. So first taste, Almost like a tongue depressor. <laughs> not not blown away by the by the rocks. So this may be one that was designed specifically to, for neat pours. Yeah, a lot more of the wood shows up now. A little more oil. Overall, still nice. But I would go neat, water, rocks for, for once, I think. So again, this has been Whiskey with Rye. Um, make sure you stay tuned to see what's coming next week. And until then, cheers. <laughs>